The Starter Video Podcast. Welcome to this edition of the Starter Video Podcast, brought to you by startervideo.co.uk. I'm your host, Danny Lacey. Now, these podcasts are great for marketeers or business owners that want to know what works. Top tips on video and video marketing. This week's podcast is all about explainer videos for startups. So, where do you, well, start? Explainer videos aren't anything new, we know that. But as technology makes videos in general that little bit more accessible, both at home and on the move, and with a more captive audience of viewers demanding a multimedia experience, these how-to guides are becoming much more popular. Why make an explainer video? Demonstrating a product is so much better than simply showing people what it is through words and pictures. We're all familiar with the phrase, show, don't tell. Not only is it way more visually engaging, but it can summarise something with much more speed and precision, while also showing specific actions that even GIF files would struggle to communicate. It also gives plenty of opportunity to showcase a brand's style and personality. So, if you want to create an explainer video for a product, service, or your company outright, what do you need to consider? Here are five key things to have at the forefront of your mind. Get scripting. A script's the most important foundation of any explainer video. It's best to start by listing questions you want to answer. Anything as simple as, what does the product or service do? Or as specific as, When do we unveil the key benefits? It's actually best to get someone from outside the company to draft the script or at the very least review it. Having distance from a product or service explainer video can give a greater clarity of judgment. Keep it simple. Nobody likes a long-winded description, nor do they want to know your life story. Viewers click play to see a product in action, so think about how you can keep it simple and to the point. Think about structuring it into four segments. Problem, solution, your product, and a call to action to top it all off. Keep it short. Similar to the last point, it's important to add shortness into the mix. People can be put off at the sheer sight of five minutes as a playtime, even if the key benefits are imparted in the first minute, because they expect to be kept waiting. Think also about the times that people view your video too, such as between tasks at work, on the bus, using mobile data. You can't afford to keep these people waiting. Time is money. Be professional. It's all fun and games trying to be wacky and creative, but explainer videos are, by definition, important to keep above board. Focus on explaining how things work with a focus on functionality. Sure, you can consider putting great functions into fun situations, but ensure those features are front and center. Focus on the benefits, not the features. Explainer videos often have problems communicating why features are good, instead listing what they are. For example, it's all fair and good saying that a camera or smartphone has 64 gigabytes of storage as standard, but saying that it therefore has more room for apps and photos will appeal to users' individual sensibilities and desires. Connect function with benefit at every stage of the way. Know of any great explainer videos that have caught your eye? We'd love to take a look. Drop us a line on Facebook or on Twitter. So that's it for this episode of the Starter Video Podcast. Hope you found it useful. If you missed anything, don't worry. We have it all on the blog over at startervideo.co.uk. Also, never miss an episode of future podcasts. So subscribe right now. Do it. Click the button. Thank you for listening to this week's podcast. I'm your host, Danny Lacey, and I will be back in the next edition. The Starter Video Podcast, helping businesses and marketeers achieve their goals.